नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल ट्राइबल यूथ वॉज यूरिनेटेड ऑन बाय अ गाय कॉल्ड प्रवेश शुक्ला इन मध्य प्रदेश स्कूल प्रिंसिपल वॉज बीटन टू पल्प बिकॉज इंसिडेंटली ही मेड द स्टूडेंट्स रीड सम क्रिस्टन प्रेयर टू लिंचिंग्स आर रिपोर्टेड जस्ट एन आर बैक इन शोलापुर lynching was reported in nashik now just condemning this will not help resolve this solve this so my today's editorial is beyond condemning this because these are act of violence these are these are devilish acts these are atrocities so condemn kitna karoge and what benefit to what benefit so today i'm going to spend some time to identify why such atrocities happen where does this evil come from how does this evil come from and that's what we are going to talk about in this editorial let's get right into the show so as always let's get into some facts and figures and then we will take this subject forwards now according to ncst that is National Commission for Scheduled Tribes there were 1558 cases registered on atrocities committed against tribals in India in the year 2019-20 2020 21 saw 533 cases and 2021 22 saw 368 cases this is what they say maximum number of cases registered are in Rajasthan one second Madhya Pradesh and third Jharkhand As far as Dalit and scheduled castes are concerned, total number of cases stands at forty-five thousand nine hundred and sixty-one in two thousand nineteen, fifty thousand two hundred and ninety-one in two thousand twenty, and fifty thousand nine hundred in two thousand twenty-one. Maximum cases being registered in Uttar Pradesh, second in Bihar, third in Rajasthan, fourth in Madhya Pradesh, and fifth in Maharashtra. It's quite a number of cases. the question that we we'll asked tonight is uh, where does this hate come from how does this hate actually happen how does it manifest and why is it manifesting in the last 10 years manifesting in so much quantum now it is not that before it there was no manifestation of uh, evil and manifestation of such hate of course it was there of course it was there but recently it seems to be happening more often and almost popping up everywhere what is the reason for it for starters let's please keep politics aside let's talk about human psyche and then let's get politics back so i am going to talk to you about a experiment which stanford had conducted it was one of the most controversial psychological experiment ever conducted under the sun it was one of the it was one of the most controversial experiments ever conducted it was conducted by a professor called professor philip zimbardo now what philip zimbardo did is he gathered 26 of his psychological student these psychology students were divided in two halves one of them were made police one of them were made prisoner and his basement of this college stanford college was created into prison now the police the 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 group that was converted into police it was supposed to be a six weeks uh, six weeks uh, experiment but they stopped it in two weeks and they packed it off now like i said 26 students half of them were police half of them were uh, 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 thieves police were given uniform baton eye glasses uh, you know belt uniform and all that so they were made to feel like they are police and the others that is the criminals the convicts were given those dress those jail dresses and they were convicts now the convicts were put inside prison and the police was supposed to guard the con- co- convicts and then torture them little by little initially these tortures were induced by the program directors the police the students were asked to do this to the convicts or the kids playing convicts so they were made to you know they they were sleep deprived 
their food ration was kept in check and so on and so forth. But after a point in time, the experiment went out of hand. Because these people wearing the uniform, having the baton, they actually felt empowered and they actually felt power over those convicts who were at their mercy under their thumb. And atrocities, cruelty started increasing, not because it was induced by the program director this time. It started naturally and automatically. The people in power, they started enjoying that power and they started cruelty. They started torturing those people, those other students who were playing the prisoners. And the conclusion, though, like I said, it had to be stopped in the middle. The experiment was stopped in the middle. But the conclusion was that if you authorize somebody, if you make a person feel authorized, make a person feel powerful, that person starts using that power or exercising that power on the others to the, to the next, to an extent of crushing the other person. He or she starts prevailing over the other person, controlling the other person. And it is a, it is, it is a, with sheer pleasure, call it sadistic, but sheer pleasure that this control is exercised on that other person. Now, why is this, this entire experiment important here? You see, we have a lot of unemployed youth in this country. Huge amount of unemployed youth in this country. And a lot of these youth can be easily disillusioned. So when these youths are given powers like, you know, Gau Rakshaks or powers like saving a, a community, saving a, a religion, they get empowered. They get empowered and then they start crushing the people who they are shown as enemies. In Stanford prison case, the enemies were the prisoners. And the power was with the, the, the students playing police. Likewise here, the enemies are minorities at, in, in, in these cases. The enemies was that tribal man, that poor tribal man. And this man who was from a higher caste, he felt empowered and he thought it was, he was doing some kind of a duty because he was empowered. He was controlling the tribal man. This is why this experiment is relevant to our society currently. And it is becoming more and more and more and more relevant. What happened to that, that, that principle was a group of people from Bajrandal came and hammered him. Why? Because they were representing, they had power, they were empowered, they are part of this group. They were wearing the shafran uh, uh, gamcha and they are, they are empowered. And the, the enemy this time was the person who played the Christian prayer. And they were lynching him, they were beating him up. So is the case with Sulapur and so is the case with every other Gaurakshak who is lynching people in the name of uh, smuggling cows. The point is, all of these are extra constitutional power. There is no, there is no legal badge and label and training and all that these people got. They are just given exactly like those students. They are given a, a uniform, a baton and a goggle and with a cap and then told, go play police. And that's exactly what's happening here. Some of them get a, a saffron gamcha and, and they are, they are, they are playing gaurakshaks. They are playing protectors of the community. Now, this is not just about India. If you look at Taliban, it happened there too. Some people were given a gun and said, now you are protecting uh, Islam. Go ahead. Protect. And what they did, we all see. ISIS, same thing. The process, the, the, the process is the same. And the thing is, the result also could be the same. That's the point I was trying to make here. Now, let's get politics here. You see, we have huge unemployed population in this country. Huge unemployed population. We also know that our labor participation index, that means people who are, who are, who are capable of working but work, actually working is less. 
is one of the worst in the world. Now, under this circumstances, you have a lot of disillusioned youth. Now, if for political reasons, for votes or to create a vote bank, if you try and create an enemy and make these disillusioned youth, empower this disillusioned youth to control that enemy, this is what is going to happen. And that's why the Stanford prison experiment is important. That is why we as people, as country and as whichever political party we belong to, whichever political party we associate with, whichever political party we support, we should understand that this practice should be stopped. Because the final result that's going to come out is going to be disastrous. It's going to be disastrous. It is going to be more disastrous than any bomb in this world. Because then what happens is like in Stanford, Stanford, they could clip it off, off after two weeks because they couldn't control it. They couldn't control it. The atrocities were going. It's, it was growing exponentially daily. They couldn't stop their own students, young kids, kids who would share Defend with each other. Kids who would study, sit in the same bench. They were going against each other. And the professor couldn't control it, so it was clipped. But in our country, in our society, maybe we will reach a stage where we will not be able to pull it back. We will not be able to clip that experiment or clip this, uh, this, this process. And it will go exponentially. It will grow exponentially. We saw that with Taliban. And that's the point I wanted to make. I hope I have communicated what I wanted to, uh, to you. I hope you agree to me. If you don't, please write down why you don't agree to me. And if you do, please write down why you agree to me. Please spread this message. Please spread this message because spreading this message is important. Important for you, important for me, important for our country, important for our future. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10. And uh, before I end, just one thing. Please subscribe to our channel. A lot of you, you viewers are new. You haven't subscribed to our channel. Please do subscribe to our channel. Uh, you don't have to pay any money for that. Just subscribe to our channel. And if possible, uh, press a like uh, on this video so that more and more people can see it. But do subscribe to this channel. And uh, till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar.